everyone and welcome to Drawing with Paolo DWP. Today we're going to be drawing a European character named Obelix and Obelix is from a European uh, comic book, cartoon, movies um, and it's a really awesome drawing to draw and of course his main body is a big circle. This is a big strong burly guy with a big body, he's a bit overweight and this will be his left leg here, a little bit of a bend to his knee. His right leg will be a little bit up in the air, so he's walking around. This character tends to walk around with a big monolith stone on his back, so we're going to be drawing that. And here's one of his feet. Uh, of course, uh, we need to erase this little line in here, just like that. Get rid of the foundation lines of our circle, which we don't need anymore. And we'll be able to add these little lines here to attach uh, the leg properly to the body, which is the circle. And then, of course, we've got the entrance of his pants, where his pants begin essentially, where he puts them on uh, around his big fat body. His head will be over here about, uh, which will attach with his neck and his shoulder going to his arm, his forearm going down this way, the left side of his forearm, and then of course to his bicep going back to his shoulder, just like that. And then over here we'll have a neckline going back down, his shoulder, left shoulder going to his pants. And then this line, of course, we don't need anymore, so we're going to delete them with our eraser. You know, it'd be fun to be able to just delete, but we need to erase along those lines, get rid of those with pencil. You guys can be drawing along with pencil, with marker, with whatever you like. Go ahead and follow along, no problemo. So this is the entrance of his pants, the top of his pants, his belt buckle. We'll draw the thickness of his uh, pants here at the top, just like that. Go across with a nice uh, curve. And this is the thickness going around his body. Then we'll draw his belt line going about over here like that. And on the left side as well. And the tips are kind of like triangles that enter that buckle like this. And a circle in the middle of this buckle like that. And then a few circles going along his belt. Just like this all the way to his arm. Then we'll add his heel to his foot. And we'll draw the left foot too. So he's got these cuffs at the bottom of his pants and a foot going down this way. And because he's putting down his weight onto the ground, we'll make the foot flat, just like that. And then we'll retrace his knee. I'd like to put it a little bit higher. And that's what's cool about drawing. As I'm drawing this hand, it's fun to say, well, you know, I'm not sure I like where this hand is or what size it is. And you can just retrace over it and change it or erase it like I'm doing now to modify your drawing. That's really cool. You do the way you want to invent your drawing how you'd like to see it. Of course, this character exists already, and people expect to have uh, this character, Obelix, look like Obelix normally. But, you know, we can make our own changes, take our own uh, license here, and do what we want. So here's our uh, clavicles, clavicles to this character, like that. And we're going to add a little line there to his chest. Now we'll work on his helmet. He's wearing a metal helmet, uh, and with a little bit of a uh, horns on either side, so he's got like these rounded horns. Uh, so we're going to put uh, his ear here and with a little bit of a like C shapes inside there to make him look like the inside of the ear. And of course he's chubby, so he doesn't have a chin line. His face just links right into his neck. He has a pretty thick neck, so we're going to have to fix that later on. Now I'm going to erase these uh, lines to make the thickness of his pants a little bit more defined. And then, of course, he has his pants are kind of blue and white, uh, striped. And so we're going to draw these stripes. And, of course, the stripes need to be curved, following the curvature of his pants, of his body. And you can't just draw straight lines. That wouldn't make sense. The lines need to curve like they curve on a sphere. So imagine a beach ball, right? Beach balls have lines on them. They need to be curved following the beach ball shape. And, of course, he's carrying this monolithic stone. So we need to uh, draw that stone like this. And then... Uh, We'll color it in later on. He's got a big schnoz on him, a big nose. So we'll draw his nose like this. Uh, and erase the line inside that nose there. We don't need to see the side of his face through his nose. And he has a big mustache. So we're going to put on the right side of the mustache like this. It's kind of like a horn if you think about it. 
like going up like this and the left side will be going a little bit downwards like that and then he's super happy and he's smiling and so his eyes are shut because he's smiling so big so we'll give him little tiny eyes here and then we'll give him a, a lower lip later on, on right underneath his nose but let's put on those little tiny horns with uh, kind of dimples on top there those little circular metal bits whatever they're called just like that and he's got these wisps of hair coming out of the front and we're going to color in his mustache he has a he's a red-headed gentleman so we can color in his mustache put that little lip like i said earlier and i think his neck is a little too thin we'll fix that later on all right it's coming along so of course he's got this hair coming out of his helmet behind his ear just like this and then he also has these uh long uh braided hair on either side so he's got like ponytails and this is darker so we'll color that in and these ponytails are tied with what look like bow ties and because he's uh, waddling along with his stone uh, we need to make that other ponytail kind of like off his body kind of like swaying so we're going to make it jet out this way like that these are just really simple curves to make it look like it's tied in a knot. Color that in and then bow ties will just add a little t-bar here and one over here as well and then the little bow tie shape so it's kind of like a butterfly if you like. It's a triangle with a bit of a curve to it. It's as simple as that. There you go. Another triangle and another triangle and we've got that bow tie so we can see that his hair is tied up with these material things that look like that. Alright so we're going to retrace his hair a little bit better like this color that in and then we're going to erase a few lines here I think his neck as I said earlier is a bit too thin so we're going to thicken it up a little bit give him a bit more girth he's got a thick neck when he was a kid he uh, fell into a magical potion which made him super strong now every other person in his village would have to drink this potion to get super strength for a period of time but he fell in it as a child and so he stays super strong all the time and he, he loves to eat so shoulder we're gonna curve his lines here a little bit retrace those arm lines and the finger lines here and press a little bit harder on the pencil I'm happy with those lines now so I'm just going to uh, put more definition on them and later on we're gonna put a little bit of shadowing or shading along this arm line but for the moment let's color in these pant line uh, lines and so his pants are blue and white as I said earlier uh, but there are multiple lines so we need to uh, color in one shape dark gray skip one color in the next one dark gray as well kind of like a checkerboard if you like but just with straight lines the underside of his foot needs to be dark as the light doesn't really hit that portion of it and the underside of his pants boom just like that his left knee like this back of his leg and he's got these his pants are too long so He's got little uh, rolled up pants there at the bottom. So you can see here laying on his shoe. And we're going to color in or retrace this shoe here and color that in darker as well. It's a nice leather shoe here. All right, now we're going to color in this line to the middle of his pants, middle of his belly. See a little bit of that one there. We have to do the curve of his pant tops here as well. There are lines here too. And then we can actually retrace a few of the lines here around his hat, his helmet, put a bit of a reflection in there. Just a couple of lines here and there. And retrace a few things. There's his big nose. You know, 12 minute drawing, something real quick. Get me back into shape. I haven't been drawing in, uh, for a while. And some people didn't like my last drawing. <laughs> they didn't like my Fortnite drawing. They thought it wasn't up to, to uh, spec. Uh, you know, when uh, you get rusty, uh, I haven't drawn in a while. And, and that's, uh, you know, like everything else, you require practice. And getting back on it means that you need to practice some more. And I haven't drawn in a, in a while, on paper anyway, you know. Um, I've been drawing on my iPad tons. But drawing directly on paper with pencil is quite different. I'm going to draw these designs here like we had on the uh, right side of his belt. 
put a bit of a shoulder detail here. Same thing for his forearm, a little bit of you know, forearm muscle line here. And then we're going to redefine his pant lines. Just a little bit more. Put in a, a little uh, shading here on the bottom of his body. He's a round gentleman, so we can do that all the way up to here. And of course, underneath his arm. All the way along his forearm as well, tapering off. And back around on his belt. Just like that. And I think we can add some stone details here. So real fluid lines, very simple. Just pulling lines here or there, waving some lines like that. Kind of like fake writing if you like. And that's, you know, detail to the stone. Stubble and lines and just very, very simple. And then we can color that in. Once we're happy with those details in there, we're just going to keep a very light gray going here. Just hatching my way all the way down. Pulling that across. Just like that, all the way down. And then we're going to cross hatch. So we're going to come back up and do a diagonal line to the line we had before. So just cross hatching all the way down and coming back up a little bit, just like that. There you go. And we can redefine the contour lines of the stone. Not bad. Okay, so now we can add some motion lines to his feet and maybe the, the ground here, just like this. And we're gonna add a shadow. And hey, you know, just like that, we have a little character called Obelix from a French, um, Belgian comic book, movies, TV shows, cartoons. And all I need now is my signature. And I hope you enjoyed spending time with me today with Paolo Moroni, Drawing with Paolo. So there you have it, Obelix, drawn by DWP. We'll see you next time on another episode of Drawing with Paolo.